Welcome to Yayasan Karantina Tafiz Quran dan Bahasa Internasional Dahwa Supercamp Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning international student Well, meet again with me Faiza at the Ibrales course In this beloved moment I'm gonna tell you about how to speak English perfectly, confidently, automatically, naturally, and as etc. Using Daisy system. Why must using Daisy system, guys? You must know because Daisy system is simple. Daisy system always consists on three primary area um, methods. That is body, mind, and method. <sighs> well, guys. Let's go to the first point, that's body. What is body? In my mind, body is the way to express your emotion. Body is emotion. And then emotion will become energy. Energy to you to give you motivation to keep learning and keep working. So guys, body is emotion. And emotion is energy. And, is, and energy can give you motivation to keep working and keep learning and then the second point is mind there are two points as important is of mind that is belief and focus guys burn your spirit now do you believe you can speak English better? Yes. Yes. sounds good guys if you believe you can speak English better automatically you can speak English better but if you don't believe you can speak English better do you believe you can speak English better? no, I'm confused, I'm dull, I'm lazy automatically you cannot speak English better because you don't believe so guys, focus same with belief if you focus, you can get, you can reach your dream but if you don't focus, you cannot reach your dream well guys, let's go to three point. That is method. Guys, method have seven rules. But before I'm explain what seven rules of method, you must know that method is important as ever study effectively. Uh, but from beginners, you must master body and mind. Well guys, let's go to rules number one what is rules number one learn English phrases not individual word why why you must learn English phrases you must know the powerful of English phrases the powerful of English phrases is English phrases can give you much more information guys give applause for our so guys English phrases can give you much more motivation and you can get many vocabulary for uh, English phrases and you must know native speakers uh, learn with English phrases not individual word so guys let's go to rules number two that is stop learning grammar right now why we must stop learning grammar is grammar is is grammar important so why we must stop learning grammar right now? Because we want to speak, guys. Grammar just teach you to think, not to speak. If you will speak better, if you can speak better, you must keep your grammar, okay? That's right? That's right. Well, let's go to rules number three. That is listening, listening, and listening. With listening, you can get much more vocabulary. You can learn in grammar automatically. So guys, listening uh, will give you a good pronunciation. If you have a good listening, you have a good pronunciation. If you have a good pronunciation, you have a good listening. If you have, when you have a good listening, automatically you can speak English better like a native speaker. So guys, let's go to rule number four learning many ministry listen guys why 
why must many ministers listen? Because I think many ministers listen that is same with English phrases. Many ministers listen can give you uh, uh, many vocabulary and can give you many information. And then let's go to rule number five. That is deep learning. What is deep learning? In my mind, deep learning is repetition. Repetition. Guys, if you uh, see, if you know uh, one vocabulary example, study is belajar. You don't just study uh, once more, but you but you must study five until fifteen more. You must repetition, repetition, and always repetition. Like study is belajar, study is belajar, study is belajar. Why? Because if you just study once more, I think uh, you just know. You cannot remember that. You know in in you know uh, study is belajar just in in um, in now not in later not in some minutes later some minutes later you will forget that and then let's go to rule number six yes rule number six rule number six is you must uh, learning by real material what real material in this and this and, uh, learn material is from native speaker so guys if you have a textbook you must burn your textbook now why because uh, if you read textbook you cannot speak English and uh, you just can't analyze English guys the uh, the real material in English is from native speaker, so you must listening from native speaker. Don't listening a uh, film and uh, example. Hi, my name is uh, Faiza. I'm from blah 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 blah. But you must uh, listening from native speaker like uh, Mr. A J Hog maybe. And then uh, the last rule is you must listen and answer many story. Listen and answer many story. Why? Because in my mind, uh, if you finish listening uh, some story automatically, you can find many questions. And from that question, you must uh, answer that story. Maybe. Uh, so guys, let's let's learning by the easy system. Because I'm really I believe if you learning with using if you learning using the easy system automatically you can powerfully speaking English a lot faster a lot easily guys so guys never give up and Faiza wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thanks for watching do not forget to like subscribe and share